Well, spiritualism, reincarnation, and psychic phenomena all seem connected to the world beyond. So far, the case histories we've shown you have all involved people who survived clinical or accidental death. But the accounts of those who tried to commit suicide and failed are another story, a horror story. Typical of the experiences told by people who survived after attempting to take their own lives is the case of this 22-year-old bride-to-be from Gary, Indiana. For obvious reasons, her name cannot be made public, but it happened in April of 1975. This is her story, as she later told it to a psychiatrist. It began on the fateful day she went to her fiancé's house to make dinner. Eric and I were to be married in less than a week. We were in love, and I had never been happier. Note said that he was leaving. He'd met another woman, and he'd fallen in love with her, and he couldn't marry me. I, I couldn't believe it. I, I didn't know what to do. I knew I couldn't stay in that apartment. I had to get out of there. loved a man before. Our wedding invitations had already been sent out and my parents were going to be here in two days. How was I going to face them? My whole world had fallen apart. I didn't care anymore. I decided to kill myself. Exploded around me. And then there was only silence and darkness. Suddenly I was going through a long, dark subway. The pain was excruciating. I tried to scream but couldn't. And I was so cold and terrified. And something started striking out at me. Hands kept ripping at my skin. No, they weren't hands. They were snakes. I came out of the tunnel into some horrible swamp where people, all of them dead, were moaning and crying out. And the smell of death was everywhere. Oh, God, pray for me. <laughs>
That's impossible. She was dead. Could God or some unknown force choose to punish those who try to take their own lives? Because in every case of suicides who survived, they told the same kind of horror story as the girl we've just seen. While on the other hand, natural death or even accidental death seemed almost pleasant. <laughs>